are many pathways to a rewarding career. With our American Graduate Getting to Work initiative, Idaho Public Television is exploring apprenticeships, an age-old model providing businesses with the skilled labor they need while giving youth an opportunity to earn as they learn. Thanks to a grant from the U.S. Department of Labor for almost two and a half million dollars, the Idaho Workforce Development Council is launching a new initiative to invigorate apprenticeship opportunities across the state. It's a four-year grant. It's going to allow Idaho Business for Education to hire staff to work with both school districts and employers to start youth apprenticeship programs. Apprenticeship is a, a combination of a structured on-the-job training um, plan that an employer and an employee or their apprentice would follow, along with what we call related instruction or classroom training. We are trying to put together a program based on the Swiss model. What we're hoping to do is we're hoping to get juniors and seniors in high school that would show an interest in an apprenticeship and we're trying to connect them to businesses. We have two young men working for us right now that are in the high school program where they start in their sophomore year and they begin learning a little bit about different apprenticeship programs. So that could be automobile, body work, that could be painting, that could be welding, and in our case, the plumbing, heating, and air and electrical. So we happen to have a young man that's doing plumbing, and we have a young man working here that's doing HVAC, or heating and air. My name is Hunter, I'm 17. I am an apprentice plumber at Perfect Plumbing. So what I do for my plumbing learning is I actually go to another school called DTEC, which is actually like, kind of like a trade school, and it's really cool. I do my uh, plumbing there. I've been taking courses through CWI, and that's how I like learn all the plumbing stuff, but I actually go to work at Perfect Plumbing, and I actually do a lot of crazy stuff there too. See how this thread's in? Oh yeah. So the it's thread's like right there. Long. So as you turn that in, as you shove this in, you're gonna turn it until it gets tight. Oh, right. And then it will like click or something? Well, it just locks in and then you bring this up and tighten. Okay. Right? Yeah. I just do what I need to do and I get it done. <laughs> we have another gentleman named Hayden who works here too on the HVAC side. It has been an absolute hoot to have these kids here. I'm Hayden Whitmer. I'm a senior at Bora and I go to DTEC also and I start my uh, second year of CWI online class in about a month. I just like to get to get paid to learn, basically. They're making $14 an hour while they're working in high school. And the cool thing is they're going to be able to go to these towns where the college is at and get jobs that are paying $14, $15 an hour because they are apprentices, they're licensed. So worst case scenario is we're helping some kids succeed. It's, it's a crazy experience because I never thought I would get paid to go to school, but man, it is amazing. It makes school so much better to go to, I tell you that. <laughs> the apprenticeship is really good because it, it does introduce you to a career path and then really opens up a lot of avenues, a lot of opportunities. There are over a thousand apprenticeable occupations in the United States and we have a wide um, variety of options available to Idaho's employers. So we're looking um, at cybersecurity, information technology, healthcare, um, advanced manufacturing, um, traditional trades, apprenticeships across all occupations. We're talking about, say, a young person wants to get into journalism. But wouldn't it be an awesome thing to do is to get your, take your humanities, take all your, your, your programs, your mathematics and everything else, and maybe two days a week you're working for one of the television stations or radio stations or something, right? So that's the type of apprenticeship. In the uh, IT industry, um, when you think about website developers or graphic designers, um, there's opportunities to pair up what those uh, students are learning in their high school classes along with an on-the-job experience with employers who are desperately looking for those skill sets. Um, in healthcare, we've helped to create programs that take CNAs to medical assistants. We're talking about working with some of the local hospitals statewide and starting an apprenticeship. Two days a week they come into the hospital and uh, more likelihood of them getting into nursing school by doing that. So we're not just talking dirty jobs. When we think about the opportunities that we can provide to our youth, especially in our rural communities, helping them see the jobs that exist in their communities, that if they want to stay, they have the opportunity to grow into those positions and never leave their community. So the apprenticeship programs We've talked a lot about how they're good for the kids, but for the business, it's kind of a, a must, in my opinion. Uh, right now, people, I mean, they don't sign up for the trades. 
If we don't get out there and get talking to these kids when they're 17, 18, or find a way into their homes when they're 20, 21, we're just not gonna have people to do the work. Wherever an employer is experiencing demand um, and they're not finding already skilled, already trained individuals, apprenticeship is an excellent opportunity to grow their own workforce. Now think about our business. We get to start training kids when they're 17 and 18 years old. And we get to help them through the school, but they also get to help us. So we put Hunter through our three-day customer care, how to do what we call our service system. And he was sitting in a room with 25 other experienced technicians, most of which were journeymen. And it was a lot about like how to make sales and like how to be, give five-star service. And when the other techs were like talking, it just kind of sounded like um, mumble jumble. It literally just sounded like Charlie Brown, where everyone was like, wah, wah, wah. And I just didn't know what to do. And so I was like, hey, I have questions about everything. And they were like, wow, we really sound like aliens with people who don't understand anything. The questions they asked were, were light bulbs to all of us adults. We're like, oh, I mean, we'd laugh. That was really dumb. And then we think about it and we go, oh my gosh, how dumb are we? Because we're talking to people that don't know any more about our trades than they do just like we just talked to them. And, and so the advantage to having these kids been, been absolutely a blessing. And really we only did it because we thought we've really got to help this program. And in the meantime, payoff's been huge. There's something about bringing a young person into a business. It's good for the older people too. It really makes them feel like they're real mentors. And who benefits from that? Certainly the apprentice, the business with a stable workforce, but the community. We're talking about people carrying their own, their own weight, right? You know, we know that uh, we need to do more for our youth. We need to provide more post-secondary opportunities. And apprenticeship is just as rigorous as a, a college degree. And it's just a different pathway to get there. So it's a win-win for employers, for our youth, for uh, our state, quite frankly. If you're a business wanting to create apprenticeship opportunities for youth in your community, contact Idaho Business for Education to explore a program that can help you strengthen your workforce needs. And check out our Idaho Public Television American Graduate website to learn more about career pathways in Idaho.